Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, Illinois Arts Council Agency, and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Illinois Stories. I'm Mark McDonald in Chatham, and one of Chatham's newest restaurants, probably the newest, and certainly its newest brewing company. This is the Sangamo Brewing Company. This used to be Fat Willie's for local people who knew uh, about local restaurants. Now you'll notice it's been opened up a little bit. It's a little brighter. We're not here to advertise a restaurant and a brewing company. We're here to look at a one-of-a-kind Bruriana collection. And Tom Noonan, I think I said that right, Bruriana? Bruriana. It's a very right. hard word to say. It is. It is. <laughs> You've been a collector of brewery materials m most of your life, I guess. Huh? It started with beer cans, uh -huh. <clears throat> kind of like everybody my age. I mean, most people have a beer can collection or mm -hmm. did. Uh, my brother Pete and I started here in Springfield, you know, when I was about eight. Pete was 10, and my mom and my dad would take us around to the lake parks, I don't mm -hmm. know, Cotton Hill Park and all sure, the lake parks. Yeah. And I remember digging up beer cans out of the ground, and we, we would go to <laughs> beer can conventions, and so that was the bug of, it was always the hunt, mm -hmm. especially digging the cans out of the ground, and so that's kind of where it started, yeah. you know, 50 mm -hmm. years ago with the mm -hmm. beer cans. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then it grew into filling your garage, and then you had to get <laughs> rental space, right? right? So you had three right. rental units. Right. Now, you finally got rid of some of that stuff and you found the perfect place to put it. I did. <laughs> Your took, own restaurant. Right, I did, right. It took a while. Yeah. It took a while, but now I do, and I've gone from three storage units to one. Wow. Um, so there's still you know, a chance I can put some more in here, but uh, you know, my, my wife likes the fact that most of the stuff's out of the garage. She's like reclaimed the garage. She can park yeah. in the garage right, now, right? right? Okay. Let's walk that way okay, because I right. want to see these display cases. We were talking about filling up your garage. And if you can see these enormous cases, that's where they all were, right? They were. I, you know, I told you, I to, I, Mike Nadler's a friend of mine at Abe's Old Hat. We go in there a lot, and he, he said, uh, Tom, I'm going to sell these display cases. I said, okay. So I bought them about a year ago, and I had them taken them apart and put them in my garage. So they sat uh, disassembled in my garage for about a year mm -hmm. until I knew that I was going to need them, which was about a month and a half ago, knowing that I needed to get them reassembled. And then I, got, I brought them in here, then I had to fill them. So then oh it took a, a long time to go to my storage units, and, you know, my basement, yeah, my office, yeah. and try oh. to get all of my collection together and then put it in the display cases per city. Uh -huh. right. Because right. stuff was scattered everywhere. Right. I didn't know where all my Dick's stuff was. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where all the, the Rice stuff, so I had to find it all, get it together, and then in fact, I was here this morning still continuing to put some more labels We're, we're going to learn during this program yeah. that a lot of this, in fact, most of it, is a Southern, Southern Illinois breweries, and there were a ton of them, weren't there? There, there was a lot. Um, you, you know, back in the early, you know, the mid-1800s, there was thousands. Yeah. You know, and then it went yeah. to like 10, and then now it's back to about 7,000. So it's, it's kind of gone full circle. But, you know, I, <clears throat> you know there's the book. This, this book is important. Correct. Because this helped you make a decision, didn't it? It did. See, I was, uh, I was a collector. You know, after I, you know, uh, got out of college and started working, and then I started kind of collecting again. I thought it was neat because it was it reminded me of the old days of collecting mm -hmm. beer cans, and I collected all kinds of things. And then this, I, I got this book in, in 2012. It's the Adolph Granke collection, mm -hmm. which is, and I looked through it, and it's the most unbelievable collection I've ever seen. And I said, you know, all of this should go to a museum somewhere. And it didn't, obviously. It, mm -hmm. it got scattered across the country. Oh, no. Did it really? Yeah. Everybody bought it, yeah. and it was for a lot of money. And I said, you know, it'd be really neat to do a museum <clears throat> here in town of local you know, Illinois Bruriana. So then I ch changed my focus to more Illinois Bruriana. Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> 2012, I started changing and kind of going after more Illinois Bruriana. Mm -hmm. And then in the last three or four years, I got really aggressive knowing that I was going to do this project. Mm -hmm and started becoming a big Your buyer. first collectible, point it out to us. Well, the first sign was actually this Reich, this Reich Wiener style bottle beer. Yeah. My mom bought me that long time ago, and I remember I had it in my college room, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> because I, had, I saw a picture recently in my college room, yeah. and I saw, wait a minute, that's, that Reich is there. Uh -huh. I had that since then. Uh -huh. You know, a lot of the beer cans, I don't really have any of the beer cans in here that I collected when I was little. Um, but that was my first real sign, and then from there, most of this collection has been collected in the last eight to mm -hmm. well, five to eight years. Because I let's let's start over here. A lot of people don't know this. Dix was one of the biggest brewers in the Midwest. They were big, time. yeah, and they're in Quincy. Yep. 
and, and the brewery, the, the building, if you look in this poster right over here, the building is still there. It's an art gallery and, you know, a lot of empty space now, but it's still there. And people are, can go in and take a look at yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's really neat. I think they call it the district over mm -hmm. there, and that mm -hmm. whole area is, is, is really neat. And Quincy, you know, Quincy's a great town. And so they, Quincy, the Dick's Brewing Company, did have a lot, a lot of advertising and memorabilia. So, <clears throat> there, you know, there, there seems to be a lot available, whereas some other breweries, um, like Quincy also had the Rough Brewery. There just okay. was not a lot. They weren't as big, Rough, and they yeah. did not have a lot of collectibles. So I've got a few collectibles from Rough. Mm -hmm. Rough Brewing, there was Rough Redell and then Rough Brewing out of Quincy. Mm -hmm. And there's a tray right there that yep. shows, that's really nice with the artwork. Rough Brewing Company, Quincy, that's really nice. And let, if we can move down here a little bit, we can see the Dick Brothers. You've got their... Uh, yes, yep. The portraits of the Dick Brothers. I got lucky enough on that one. I think I bought that on eBay years ago. Mm -hmm. And it just, you know, luckily I've been, luckily I was kind of accumulating this most of it about four or five years ago mm -hmm. because a lot of it has really appreciated because, you know, I think a lot of it is the fact that a lot of breweries want this stuff in their brewery and they obviously yeah. you know the expansion of the breweries. Yeah. So luckily I got a, I was ahead of a lot of it. So it's, a, it's an expensive hobby Correct. and getting more expensive. Correct, huh? right. But so anyway, so here's the, here, the Quincy overrunneth from over there. So I had to continue it over here. <laughs> and then down here is Springfield. Now Springfield, you know, they had about five breweries um, back in the day. The, the, obviously, the, the, the most well-known is the Reich, uh -huh. the, you know, the Reich uh, Brewing Company. And then you had the Springfield Brewing Company, which is down here. A lot of these labels mm -hmm. uh, were Engel, still... Engel Kings Engel was Kings. one of their labels. Yes, right. There's a whole bunch of Engel Kings. That was the, uh, the last name of the individual run of the company. Mm -hmm. So now this, we don't know. <laughs> this could either be Peoria or Springfield because the Utica yeah a lot of a lot, a lot of companies genetically not fan well they, a lot of companies <laughs> would share the same labels is that right because you'll see see that chief beer down there yeah. that uh -huh. okay they, that was also brewed by Peoria you'll see the same label down there uh -huh. and so this label this Utica was also brewed in Peoria so I don't know I just mm -hmm. said it's going to go in the Springfield case because mm -hmm. I needed some more Springfield stuff okay so here's New Athens Illinois kind of a short run brewery you know, there's there's a picture of the brewery down there. Yeah, um, it was. A, it, that's a that's a that's a pretty the, big. Yeah, all the breweries were very very yeah. big. Yeah, New Athens, New Illinois. Athens, Illinois. <clears throat> Hard to find um, memorabilia from there. And we go down here. Here's Peru, Illinois. Okay. It's, yeah, there's Star Union Products, um, Star Model. Mm -hmm. um, so this is Peru. And then as we slide this way, we go into East St. Louis. Okay, I remember the Lemp name for sure. Yeah. Yep. There's Lemp, and then there's the Central Brewing Company. Uh, they also had Heim Brewing Company, mm -hmm. um, which I believe I have a postcard, and I have actually some of my books over here. Mm -hmm. They just don't have room to put Heim in there. Um, so this is... Uh, Griesedick made all kinds of different uh, brands of beer, didn't they? They did. They had the, they had the Western Brewing in Belleville. So Griesedick, mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is all the Belleville uh, section uh -huh. kind of up in here. Um, and then down here, this is still some uh, East St. Louis, and then I have a little bit from Pekin. Mm -hmm. um, this way with Pekin. The American Brewing Company yes, of Pekin. Yes, of Pekin, uh -huh. right. Here's a really uh, small brewery, Rudolph Stecker out of Murfreesboro. Way down south. Yeah, very yeah. hard to find. Uh, brewery Anna from, from Murfreesboro. I got a little bit of Alton up here because this is John Geel out of Alton, and then Anton Reck out of Alton, which are very rare. Mm -hmm. And this slides over into Bluff City, which is a bigger brewery. Uh, at Alton. In Alton. Yeah, Alton had a lot of breweries, yes. didn't it? Yes, yeah. Well, like you say, there were thousands. Yeah. There and were so, thousands. So then we come in over to Granite City. Granite City. Yeah, okay. we had Wagner mm -hmm. out of Granite City, and there's the brewery in Granite City. Almost all Germans. Almost yeah. all German yeah. descent. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll slide over. Here's uh, Peoria. The Let's Union see. The Union Brewing, Union Brewing Company. Company. That's, that's yeah, nice yeah, art, isn't it? Gips. Oh, it's That's great. really pretty. You had Gibbs, and you also had the Lisi Brewing Company. But see here, there's that chief again. See yeah. the chief? Yeah, the Native American symbol yep. is, is, is big on the brewery Yeah, labels. but see, the chief was the same logo as Springfield and, and Peoria, so I'm not mm -hmm. sure, um, you know, yeah. who, who, who started it and how they shared it. Mm -hmm. But then this is all Peoria here. This is a neat old picture. Oh, that is. From, it's that, actually, that bottle is in that picture. Are they still brewing in Peoria? 
Is there anything going on up there? I don't know. I'm sure they've got some microbreweries up there. Yeah. I mean, I know that uh, Open scale. Isaacs would know. Yeah, yeah. And here's Joliet. Have a lot of lot of lot from Joliet. Mm-hmm. You had E Porter Brewing, um, and don't over here. You had um, what was that? down here? Citizens. You can't really see it. Joliet Citizens Brewing Company. Okay. And then you had Fred Searing. And then. Over here, you got Highland Brewing, which is down south. Here's Highland. It's one yeah. of my favorite trays. One of the favorite things I own is that tray. Is that right? Look at that. That yeah. Remember, Remember the Maine. Remember the Maine. Yeah, Highland, Illinois. Yeah. And then we have a really small spot right here is Mendota. There's not much from that brewery mm -hmm. at all. Mendota, Illinois, right there. That tray. Uh, O.C. Gresh, yeah. actually, that was in Mendota. They were a distributor for Budweiser, the bottling company. Gosh, but they, here's, you know, here's some Mendota. But see these pages that are in here. These are actually from Bob Kay, the infamous label collector who, who passed away recently. He was the biggest collector of, all, of, of basically all the labels out there. Mm -hmm. And so his little pages there kind of tell you about Mendota. It actually has the history of the brewery on there. I love that, showing the 1850s. I don't have my glasses. Mm -hmm. And then you know, coming up, see the Mendota Brewing Company was 1910 to 1912. And then there's the, there's the Henning Brewery out of, Mo, out of Mendota. That was 1895 to 1910. See, mm -hmm. I love seeing that piece of paper says 1890. Mm -hmm. so there's mm -hmm. a blank there, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just mentioned Gibbs. You also have quite a collection of the neons. And, Correct. And this, was this an originally neon? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was Wow. with new neon. Everything, all the signs in here have new neon on them. Mm -hmm. um, Ace Sign Company did a bunch of them. Um, because obviously the, the neon doesn't survive over the years, yeah. and a lot of them you just find. <clears throat> you know, you can see how beat up the skin is, they call it. The mm -hmm. skin is just the porcelain um, sign. Um, but I've, I've got about 23. I still have 10 more that need a home, so that's mm -hmm. why I need to, uh, you know, either find a bigger building or just find some <laughs> space in here. But, I, you know, I had, to, I had to space them out enough so it wasn't too crowded in here. So. Tom, when you walk in the front door, the first thing you see is a sign, and that's not an accident. No, it's on purpose. Uh, it was my uh, favorite sign even before I did the neon, and you know, a sign did this, and you know, I got when I met with a sign, I had a bunch of signs, <clears throat> skins they call them, that, that they needed neon, and I got to pick out the colors, and for some reason, I said, you know, I want this green and white against that dark background because mm -hmm. I'd seen some other neons like that, so. As soon as I saw it in the shop, I said, I know where that's going to go. I want it to, you know, hit you in the head right when you walk in. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, A-Sign helped me put these unit struts in, and I said, I want it right when you walk in the door. I just think it's a beautiful sign. Yeah. They're heavy, aren't they? Very. Yeah. This Hanging one, these is not just like putting is, something on no, a wall. This is the heaviest one I have because yeah. it's an all-original, right? two-sided with the can, which is it's very, very, very yeah. heavy. So, yeah. I, you know, I'm convinced they did it right. That's why I had a sign do it. Yeah, and, and it was originally made by a Quincy company. Yep, Quincy, Quincy Neon, neon Signs. Yeah. You see, a, I think I've got a few in here that are Quincy Neon. Yeah. There's some repetition of some of the neon sign yeah. makers in here. Yeah, and this was in Warsaw, Warsaw. Illinois, right. huh? Right. Okay. Griesedek again, he, yep. they keep popping up. They made, all, they made lots of beer. Griesedek Brothers made a lot of beer down in the St. Louis area. Yeah, they had a lot of beer, they had a lot of advertising. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll see a lot of Griesedek in here. I know it's not quite Illinois. I just love, especially the, the blue and the yellow and the red, mm. their advertising was so bright. You know, this is, this is neat, but I mean, the, those signs are fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this is kind of new for you, isn't it? I just got this, um, it's out of Granite City. There was um, a friend of mine, <clears throat> Kind of knew of, we only kind of knew of one, mm -hmm. and this popped up. I believe on the, out in the uh, I believe it was out in Idaho, and I bought it. <clears throat> I couldn't get it back here. So the great thing about this sport, I call it, is I've got friends that, <laughs> that pick all over the country. Yeah. And so I reached out. I found a guy that lived in Evansville, was actually in California at the time. He said, "Hey, I can pick it up for you because I know the guy you bought it from." So mm -hmm. he drove from California, picked it up. He drove it and dropped it off with a friend of mine in Quincy, a guy named Stephen Foxall. Uh -huh. Foxhall, we needed to trade signs, so, so about a week later, Foxhall said, I'll come over. So Foxhall brought me this sign. I had a sign I had bought for him, and we just traded, mm -hmm. and then we, had, we put it up. <laughs> yeah. So I, didn't, I paid the guy like, you know, a, a minimum amount for shipping, but yeah, it's great yeah. having people all over the country that can help you. I'll bet you have people that come in here and just wander around looking at this stuff, don't you? We do. I mean, because it is. It's like a museum in well, here now. Th and that, yeah, that, that was the goal. Um, you know, the signage is fantastic. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Mellow and smooth, Grisadek beer. Yeah, I got this um, about three or four years ago. I can't remember. I had bought it from Robbie Wolf, 
you know, from the American Pickers. I bought it from him, and I couldn't get to it, and he said, it's fine, it's on my wall. So I thought, I mm -hmm. thought okay, good. I got three storage <laughs> units, I don't need it. So, you know, it's funny, because I, I, uh, I watched the show, obviously, and a couple yeah. shows I saw, and I saw it on the, on the wall in a show, and I would text him, Robbie, don't sell that. He goes, I got guys that want to buy it. I'm like, all right, I'll get there. So <laughs> about two months ago, I finally said, Rob, I'm going to come up there because I got to put it in my brewery, you know? He goes, okay. So I went up there and got it, met him, and he, you ought to see his place. It's fantastic. Oh, I'll bet. So I'll bet. I got it from Robbie and, and, and got it up here because that originally was not a neon sign. Um, that was just a tin sign that somebody made it into a neon, mm -hmm. but I just like it with the detail. Mm -hmm. yep. right, right below it. Now, you don't see in this kind of condition very often. This has probably been reconditioned. It I has imagine. been. I, I, uh, another one that I found <clears throat> was an eBay buy. It was, uh, it was rolled up and it was just trashed. It found it in an alley in St. Louis. Uh -huh. and I bought it for a minimal amount. I picked it up and I said, you know, I really want to restore this because I want to you know, bring it back to all its glory. So I sent it out to uh, Van Candle Restorations on the East Coast. He redid it, sent it back and and there it is. It's de-bitterized. It yes, it is. <laughs> I like the little guys on there. And we were talking about probes. Is yep. this new? Is this new Athens? Yeah. Probes. Yes. Yeah. 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 A bit better. I love yes. the. I love the slogans. There's some really good ones, yeah, in there, especially yeah. in the older uh, de the prohibition ones. A right? bit better. Yeah. And you've got some 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 of the prohibition area stuff. I do. Uh, all these brewers, not all, someone out of business, but many of them tried to stay in business during that roughly 12-year period. Correct by making other products. Right, they uh, made soda and ice, and we've got some, uh, like here, Pabst Wonder Cheese, we even use it on the bar here. You know, Pabst made cheese. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Milwaukee, was, well, they're yeah. in Milwaukee. I mean, they had access to a lot of dairy, so I yeah, guess they so do Yeah, so they something. made, you know, like there's a, that's a uh, Heidelberg brew. That, uh, above the door. A, that's a prohibition one. Uh -huh. When it says brew, it's prohibition. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. And they're yeah. even hiding over there, that ham's over there. Yeah. It says ginger ale, so yeah. I've got a lot of soda brewery Let, Let's walk into that area okay. where you've got the, uh, the Prohibition area stuff. Get, camera, get in there. Was it, am I going the right way? Yes, and there's some here, but there's obviously there's some, there's some here. Um, but then here again is some more Prohibition. I mean, that, that's obviously St. Louis, but I just like the colors. So, mm -hmm. you know, you've got Miller, High Life Brew, Ham Special Brew, you got more hams. What, so when they say brew, they mean it tastes like beer, but it doesn't have any alcohol Correct. in it. Correct, okay. right. Well, it has a minimum of alcohol. They had, mm -hmm. they had a level they could not surpass, like a half percent. Uh -huh. so, um, so you know from what they say, the period that these signs pretty, were made. Pretty much, yeah. 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 Yep. And same with over here, even the Pabst Blue Ribbon. You know, it's not beer, it it's just says Pabst Blue Ribbon. You mm -hmm. got the, the Blatt's Better Beverages. They made a lot of soda. In fact, I have some bottles in the bar mm -hmm. over there, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. There's then malt syrup, Utica Club ginger yeah. ale. Yeah, whatever they could just to keep people working Correct. While, while they grind out the prohibition. Huh? Yeah, a lot yeah. of them went out of business or just, just straight up closed for mm -hmm. the, the period. And you'll see, prohibition-wise, you'll see I like, I like the Blatt's, see all the Blatt's bottles? Here's some more prohibition. There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look, at, look at the swastika pure grain alcohol. That's probably not at the very top. Correct. But see the, all the blats up there, mm -hmm. all the sodas. And yeah. then you've got over here, you've got um, Coors. Look at the malted milk. At the very top yeah. again. Yeah. And then you've got the malt syrups. Mm -hmm. More prohibition stuff. So. Yeah, very interesting. That's, that just kind of goes, that's a natural, isn't it? Are those hard to find? I'll bet they are. I'll bet they're hard they to find. They are. Yeah, and there's one up there that's from Decatur, which is really hard to find the Decatur Brewing Company, which mm -hmm. I have some stuff, but some of the, the Blue Ribbons, which are paps, are uh, a little easier to find, mm -hmm. but that, that one with the Indians are hams, which is very hard to mm -hmm. find. Mm -hmm. um, but Tom, it's not just all about the beer. I mean, you're kind of a, you love a certain period Correct. of Americana too, don't you? And, you? and you were looking for, this was the very kind of sign you were looking for. It was, it, you know, I like, I like vintage and I want everything in there to be old. Um, I had bought, and you'll see them, the, the two restroom signs in there around the corner. Mm -hmm. But, you know, about a week into this being open, I was brought to my attention, you know, where are the restrooms? So, of course, I said, well, I got to get a sign. So I went mm -hmm. out and found this old sign. I'm not sure the date, but I just like it. It's a, you know, yeah. it's an old vintage hand painted sign mm -hmm. and it's lighted. So I, I bought it. Yep. So people kind of know where the restroom is. Now, yep, yep. Right? So, and you went further than that, too, because you, you wanted to make sure that. You made a statement with the restrooms too, so <laughs> this is what you see when you turn the corner. Go ahead and turn that, if you would okay. turn those lights off so we can see what we got. Now those are cool. 
Yeah, well, thank you. I, uh, <laughs> I was been looking for these for a while, mm -hmm. and they're actually very pricey, the vintage ones. A lot of them are, you know, have uh, designs and what have you. I found these, again, on eBay. They were, these were from a movie theater in Canada, and I bought them, had them shipped to me, and they uh -huh. survived. And then I bought these two from a fellow co collector friend, these old kind of glass uh, ladies mm -hmm. and men uh, for the... For the Okay, if you would flip those lights on again for sure. us now so that we got the effect of that. Okay, yep. there we go. And, of course, in this hallway where it's, it's, it's kind of tight, but you right. can see you, you've got this all postered up, too. And these are, these are great old posters. I do. You know, I, I kind of I collect a lot of the Bach mm -hmm. uh, lithos, and plus I have a Bach bottle collection. That was back when I wasn't quite focused on the Illinois aspect. Mm -hmm. I just collected a whole bunch of Bach bottles and Bach uh, lithographs. You and always signs. see the goat. With, with Bach beer, you always see the goat. Is that just a German thing? Yeah, that's a German, uh, you know, there's, there's different schools of thought about where that came from, if, uh -huh. it's, if it's German for beer, but, you know, I see Buck beer with a goat. Mm -hmm. um, I see some dark beers with the goat. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it just typifies a dark beer, but the Bach and the goat are yeah. synonymous. Yeah, um, and there's, uh, there's, again, there's a you say, which is a Chicago brewer. Correct. And this is a massive sign here that you see on the way out. It is, you know, again, it's, it's St. Louis, so I do, you know, it's, it's regional, Man. it's not Illinois. Yeah, I found yeah. this again, I can't even remember where I got it. It's been in storage for a long time, and I was excited to finally get it out and get it on the wall. And, I'll bet. And I had to try to find some big space. Luckily, there were some big enough wall spaces in here to, to find this. You've got to have a pretty good truck space, too, if you're going to be a, a collector of this stuff. This yes. This stuff really doesn't, is not easy to transport, is it? No. No, it was multiple transports um, in my Suburban here. Uh -huh. Multiple times bringing these signs in. I'm surprised you can fit them in there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Old Manhattan, another neon sign there. Old, who, what was Old Manhattan? Was that in Illinois? That was Chicago. Oh, okay. I mean, there was some talk that it had some Capone uh, connections to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's missing the beer, actually. It was neon that it was, uh, a sign was putting it up. We plugged it in, and it was sparky. I'm like, yeah, we don't, oh, we don't want that. So they took, remove it, huh? Yeah, they took yeah. it out. They're going to fix it and put it back in. Mm -hmm. But I got, that from a, I got that from an auction on the East Coast and had it shipped here. So, I, you know... I, I, I kind of look for things from anywhere. You know? Are you online every day checking things out? I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not as much as I used to be because it's kind of, I'm full. And I still have another storage unit and other stuff to go in here. Mm -hmm. So I'm very, very specific. I'm doing some trading now too. Because yeah. I might trade this sign out with somebody to get more of a, because that's Chicago. Sure. To get more of a regional beer sign. Yeah. I'm trying to keep everything as... Um, yeah. That might be the apple possible. of somebody's eye. It you is. Know, and they might have it, exactly well, it what is. you want. I know want. who wants it. <laughs> yeah. And there's the, there's the Indian again, yep. and he pops right. up on all kinds of labels. Now, this space didn't look like this when it was Fat Willie's. This is all, all new and open and brighter Correct. now. Right. But I, I, like, I really like what this signifies, the fact that you're going to have a beer garden outside. And Correct. this is going to allow people to just walk in and out without, uh, without having to... Actually, it'll be like one room, one big room. It will be. Uh, the, the beer garden, we're hoping to get started here soon and be done this spring, early summer. Um, <clears throat> this door, we do have an air curtain in here, so it blows air down. It keeps the temperatures pretty much uh, mm -hmm. the same on each side, but it also keeps the bugs out. So this will be open so you can come outside, not just on this patio, mm -hmm. but this beer garden will be transformed into... That vacant yeah. lot is, is yours. Correct. And you're gonna, that's going to become Correct. an outdoor a beer garden. Correct. Wow. Uh, yes, yeah, so I want to plant some big trees in there. Mm -hmm. I want to do a lot of things to it and um, hopefully eventually have a stage for outdoor live music. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll do a little see. cooking out, maybe? Correct. Jason, yes. Jason's your partner. Jason's yeah. my, J yes, Jason Bell is my partner, mm -hmm. and he wants to maybe do some cooking outside. Mm -hmm. He wants to have some fire pits. Um, but this, yeah, basically the expansion of the whole brewery will yeah. be then outside, and you can enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, people are going to have a, a lot to do, and you're going to have a lot to look at in here when you're, when you're all done, all of a sudden done as well. Um, thanks for the tour. And You're thanks welcome. for sharing your collection with us. Well, thank you for coming in. Yeah, Appreciate it. You bet. Um, this is not only, of course, Chatham, one of Chatham's newest restaurants, but Tom says, you know, he loves this collection so much. So he says, if anybody just wants to come in and wander around and take a look, you're under no requirement to buy anything. He just says, hey, it's a museum, too. With another Illinois Story in Chatham, I'm Mark McDonald. Thanks for watching.
Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, Illinois Arts Council Agency, and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you.